Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your new release for this Sunday, this coming week. We have another seven. It seems to be the magic number at the moment. Another seven fabrics for you. And we have, again, mainly knits, but we do have a couple of wovens in there too, which I think you'll like. They're quite nice. So I have a couple of different fabric bases today, which is good because we um, – I ended up with quite a few double brush polys last week, which wasn't great planning on my behalf. But hopefully you'll like this one, the um, variety that we've got today. So the first fabric is the one that I am wearing, and it is called Kapow for pretty obvious reasons. It's actually not coming through on my screen as bright as it really is. It really is a neon pink. Um, it's right out there, but it's got this really nice black and white and grey print to it which sort of tones it down a little bit. I've made a boho baby doll out of it so um, you can see it's kind of like double brush poly in that it works really well um, to have some negative ease and then some positive ease as well so it doesn't grow on you during the day. This is a pillar spandex I should tell you so you know what fabric I'm talking about. It won't grow on you during the day. It'll stay nice and tight and firm where you want it to stay but then it drapes beautifully as well. And double brush poly and single brush poly have those same characteristics too, which make them really fantastic fabrics to work with because it just really opens up the number of different garments that you can make. Uh, okay, so pillar spandex. We have had a few other uh, pillar spandexes and they do tend to go pretty quickly. They have a really slinky feel to them, nice and cool to the touch. Um, it's 220 GSM, so it's a bit heavier than your, your usual um, brush poly. Uh, it's about the same thickness though, the fabric. It's on overly thick fabric. It has pretty amazing stretch both ways and beautiful drape. And you can see the drape on my top as well, you know, how, how nicely it drapes there and how nicely it sits as well when it's got the negative ease. So this um, fabric base pillar spandex is 92% poly and 8% spandex. So it can make really nice leggings and that sort of thing as well. Um, I've seen someone make the new Palazzo pants out of one of the pillar spandexes that we've had before and they look beautiful because the drape is just phenomenal with this one. You know, skirts, dresses, there's so much you can make. There's just all sorts of things. Again, you just got to match the stretch requirements of the fabric with um, what the pattern requirements are. Now I don't have any matching thread for this one. I don't have anything quite this bright in our stock right now. I'm going to put this piece down because we don't really need that because I'm wearing it. And I'm going to show you that this matches with, this is our neon pink double brush poly. So this is probably slightly darker um, but it does look quite nice together. Or ivory double brush poly. Of course, black would look amazing as well, always does. So this is Kapow Pillar Spandex. Now, our next one is a Poly Rayon Spandex. This is a really nice base as well. I don't have a huge amount of this. I actually have trouble buying this from my supplier. I would buy more if I could. Because I think it's just a really, it's, it's a lovely base. Um, it feels really nice. It, it's not brushed. So it's not going to add extra heat to you in the warmer weather. Um, it is 63% poly, 34% rayon and 3% spandex. It's only 160 GSM. So it is a thin fabric but it doesn't feel scary thin like you're going to expose yourself all over the place because the fabric is just so thin. It doesn't feel like that. Um, it it's got the rayon and the spandex in it, but it's got much better recovery than your general rayon spandex does. So the poly helps to keep it a bit more stable, I think. Um, so this one is called Sublime, and aren't the colours just beautiful in it? It has good horizontal stretch, and it has not bad vertical stretch as well, which means you could consider using this as a horizontal stripe if you wanted to instead of the vertical stripe as it's printed. But it's very pretty. Really, really nice drape. Just great for t-shirts and t-shirt dresses and that sort of thing for summer. 
Not to say that you can't make pants or skirts and that sort of thing out of it. You certainly can. Um, but the fabric just feels like a nice t-shirt fabric. That's the sort of feel that it's got to it. Okay, so this one looks really nice with the sherbet brown modal, one of the new ones that's just come out. And also neon blue, double brush poly, looks great with that blue in there. And then you kind of have to strain your eyes a little bit probably for this. I can see it quite clearly here, but these thinner stripes are this latte colour. So if that sort of colour is in your wheelhouse, then that might work for you too. So this is latte double brush poly. And I put a grey thread with this one. I mean, really, you could probably pick any of the colours, but I think there is more grey than any others. So I've got this one, which is 1629, and I'll put that link up. In the um, on the product listing on our website. So Sublime Poly Rayon Spandex. Okay, now we have a couple of brush polys. This one is a double brushed, which is actually quite nice for this time of the year, I think. It just gives that little bit of something, but it's still quite a nice light fabric. It's got a beautiful rich black background. Um, just these little ready pretty pinky flowers on there. This one's called Secret Joy. So it's got nice horizontal stretch. Vertical. And there's your drape. Drapes really nicely. So like this what I'm wearing, you could wear something tight, you could wear something drapey, you could combine it all in the one outfit and it looks, it works really well with this fabric type. Um, but you know double brush poly can be used for so many different garments. Um, it's really it's just limited by the pattern requirements with the stretch. That's really all it is. So um, because it's got really great stretch and its stretch recovery is really good, meaning that it won't get bigger on you and grow during the day. Um, it can just it can be so many things. So so many different things. I know that people want a really comprehensive list of you know what you can make with each fabric, and I'd love to give it to you, but it's really tricky because you know patterns are designed in a particular way to suit a particular you know fabric weight or a fabric stretch or a, the drape of a fabric um, that I just can't define it as much as I think probably new sewers would really like me to and I understand that completely you know you you want to have some confidence in what you're going to buy um, but I think the first big step in sewing is to be able to read the fabric requirements in a pattern and then be able to match them up with the fabric and that can be really really tricky. Um, we try to make it as easy as we can by giving you all the information that you need on our website. So all the stretch percentages are there, the weight of the fabric is there so that you can ascertain whether it's going to work. And if you're not sure, jump on our Facebook group and ask. Someone will know, someone would have come across that pattern or sewn it up and, and have an idea. So always ask. Okay, so this one goes with our good old black thread, number 4000. And it matches with Russet, double brush poly. And, oh, I don't have the other one. The other one is Raspberry Rayon Modal. And I don't have it here. It's right over there, but that doesn't help you very much. It's a little bit too far away. Anyway, we'll have pictures of that up on the website. So. All of these coordinates that I put up, if I go through it too quickly, don't worry. There is a picture up on the website. So you can look at it as long as you like and try and decide if the combination is for you. Next one is a single brush poly. And I'm sure that you probably all know this print if you've been shopping with Lush for a little while. This print is called Robin. It comes in some beautiful colours. But these gorgeous earthy type colours with a nice rich black background. Just lovely. Let me show you those colours. So pretty. So single brush poly just means that it's been brushed on one side, not two, um, which can make it that little bit cooler for summer. So the brushing can make it just that little bit warmer. Um, and so generally with single brush poly, it's not brushed on the inside of the fabric, which makes it a bit cooler. It's, it's slinkier to the touch. And cooler against the skin. 
Okay, works in the same way as double brush poly. So what you can do with um, single brush, you can do with double brush and vice versa. They are the exact same base. The only difference is how much it's been brushed. Uh, did I show you the drain? Did I do that? There it is again, just in case. All right, so this one looks nice with the tan, double brush poly, and russet again today. Looks fantastic. I love those together. Uh, ivory, looks nice with the ivory. And bright coral rayon modal. There's a few rayon modals today, which is nice. Okay, so this is Robin. Now, one more double brush poly to show you. This one's called Kimberly because it reminded me of some of the colours up north. Not that I've seen them for a very long time, but anyway, so I could be way off. So this is a double brush poly. Isn't it gorgeous, those colours? And a sweet little print. You know, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's just really lovely. So double brushed, same stretch, both ways, beautiful drape. Uh, and we have a matching thread, which is number 1000. There, and Robin did have a matching thread too. It's just the, the black 4000. So all those links will be up on the website. So this one looks great with mustard, double brush poly. Makes such a great outfit. If this is your color, be so beautiful together uh, and also ivory looks really good too very nice uh, okay so this is Kimberly double brush poly all right now we have some wovens and this next woven is just adorable it's so so cute I really hope that you guys like it as well we have some cactuses so this is 100% cotton the woven so there's no stretch um, it's really got some crispness and a big hole in it please excuse that I don't know if this was us or the suppliers but I, I want to hold it this way because that's the way that the cactuses are upright although you can still have them upside down whichever you like I'll just try and fold this so that you can see it there we go that'll do all right I'm going to bring it up close so that you can see. Isn't that so cute? Cute little cactuses. So 100% cotton. It is 145 centimeters wide, which is a really great width for woven fabric. Uh, it's about 125 GSM, so it's quite lightweight. You can see the drape. So cotton doesn't drape as nicely as rayon does, um, which is not a bad thing because some garments you want just that little bit less drape you don't want too much drape for so um, depending on what you're sewing up this sort of a, a drape could be absolutely perfect uh, let's see what does this one go with well, I've got a thread to match 585 that's a start isn't it that one goes with the blue background okay so this looks nice with slate single brush poly and the white Double brush poly. What else we got? Green. Double brush poly. That's nice. And blue moon. Rayon modal. Can make some of the cutest outfits. Cute little shorts or a skirt or something with the cactuses and a plain coloured t-shirt. Or just a whole cactus dress would be amazing. I can't wait to see what people sew up with this one. I think it's going to look so great. So 100% cotton. Cactus. So that brings us to our last fabric, which is our Lush Sunday special, and it too this week is a woven, and it is a rayon shelly, and it's the wrinkle effect rayon shelly. Feels gorgeous. So this is the same. We made a dress out of this one in blue a couple of weeks ago. I'm pretty sure it's the same print, but we called this one prowess. Um, Sultry Sapphire, I think the other one was called, and it was just lovely. Um, the dress just felt beautiful to wear. The fabric was just so nice, um, so breathable. It, it was just draped, amazing. It was just gorgeous. So, let's see if I can show you the crinkle effect. Can you see the crinkle effect in there? 
and it's really cute. And in a way, the crinkle effect almost gives it a little bit of stretch. Because uh, even when you iron it, it doesn't take away that crinkle effect, which I was a bit worried about. Um, but ironing it was no problem. It still stayed in there. And it just, I don't know, it gives it a bit of give, I think, more than stretch. Just a little bit of give to it. Which can just make for a more comfortable garment, really, to wear. If you can actually move in it, that's a great bonus. So this one is called Prowess. It's 138 centimetres wide. It's not quite as wide as the cacti. Um, but still really nice and wide for a woven. There we go. All the way out. So there's lots of fabric there. It too is about 125 GSM. Amazing drape. Beautiful drape. What a difference in the drape between the rayon and the cotton. Um, so this is just beautiful for, you know, a beautiful drapey dress that you wanted to make or, you know, a long maxi skirt. Um, things that you want some drape. You know, there's plenty of shorts patterns out there that you probably don't want to have this much drape, but a fabric like the cactus would be beautiful for that because it will just sort of sit up a bit more, if you know what I mean. It'll sit in its place a bit more without draping down where it wants to. So each fabric really has its purpose, um, depending on the sort of garment that you want to make. And again, when choosing your fabric for woven um, patterns, They'll always tell you. They actually name the fabric types for wovens. It's a bit harder with knits because there just seem to be so many um, new ones out there that they don't. They do name some, but not all of them. Whereas, um, you know, just a cotton would be would be named in a woven fabric if it was suitable, or a rayon would be named if it was suitable. So it does make it a little bit easier um, when it comes to sewing with the woven. Okay, I don't have a good match of thread for this one, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you could just use black. That would be no problem at all. I mean, there's you know a lot of black print on here that black would work just as well. So this one is your Lush Sunday Special. Lush Sunday Special for today. Now, you might have seen as well that I advertised in the week that we have some subscription boxes coming soon. I'm hoping to get some more info out about that ASAP because I'd like to get them started as soon as possible. Um, so just keep an eye on the Facebook page um, with information about that. If it's something that you're interested in, it's obviously not something for everybody. Um, but if it's something that you're interested in, just keep an eye out and we'll put some information up. Okay, so we've got some gift cards to give away again in our Facebook group and our Facebook page so have a look out for both of those and you can enter both of them and that is it for the fabric. I will see you again next week with some more new stuff. Okay thanks so much bye bye.